In 1968, something extraordinary happened in Zaithon, Egypt. The Virgin Mary, mother of Jesus, appeared to a crowd and revealed something so important that it has implications in the present day. Today we're delving into this mysterious apparition and you might want to stick around until the end of this video where I reveal the truly profound effects of this event. When it comes to the appearances of the Virgin Mary, the one at Fatima in 1917 is widely recognized. However, there is another apparition that's not as well known, which occurred in Zaithon, Egypt from 1968 to 1971. Despite its lesser fame, the events at Zaithon were witnessed by even more people than those who saw the famous Miracle of the Sun at Fatima. What exactly transpired in Zaithon and why did Mother Mary choose to appear there? Well, this is where things get really interesting. But to truly understand what happened, we need to go back in time just a little bit. Zaithon is thought to be one of the places where the Holy Family stopped during their escape to Egypt from King Herod's violence almost 2000 years ago. From April 2nd, 1968 to May 29th, 1971, the Virgin Mary appeared regularly, usually on feast days, on top of St. Mary's Coptic Church in Zaithon, visible to everyone. This wasn't just a vision seen by a few people, it was a supernatural event witnessed by large crowds for years. It's worth noting that this happened in a mostly Muslim country at a Coptic church, which might explain why many Catholics aren't familiar with it. The Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to hundreds of thousands of people in Zaithon, Egypt, drawing attention from various religious and even political backgrounds. Notably, former Egyptian President Abdel Nasser, a secular Marxist, was among those who witnessed these miraculous events. It's said that seeing Mary influenced Nasser's treatment of Christians, who were facing persecution at the time with their homes marked by red crosses. This period was marked by tension and turmoil, with the aftermath of the Six-Day War in 1967 still fresh and the rise of Islamic fundamentalism adding to the uncertainty. Mary's appearances in Zaytown during this vulnerable time may have served to ease tensions and offer solace to Christians amidst the upheaval. The Zaytown years bridged the gap between the conflict and peace, leading eventually to landmark agreements like the Camp David Accords and a peace treaty with Israel in 1979, while also witnessing the ascent of Islamism and the Muslim Brotherhood. It was a time of profound change and Mary's presence perhaps offered hope and guidance through it all. Now if you think this is amazing, just wait until you hear what happened next. The extraordinary nature of the apparitions captured the entire nation's imagination. Pictures in black and white depict a radiant figure, unmistakably the Blessed Virgin Mary, appearing atop the church. Witnesses described the apparition starting with a shimmering ball of light, gradually transforming into the form of Mary herself. One observer even likened her radiance to a million suns. She became known as Our Lady of Light. Alongside her appearance, other mystical occurrences were reported as well. But do you know what's truly remarkable about it all? It's the heavenly phenomena that accompanied these apparitions. Large, shining doves glided swiftly across the sky, sometimes forming patterns of 2, 7 or 12, and even shaping into crosses. The air filled with a fragrance of incense, as if coming from countless sensors. Mysterious flashes of light and cascades of shooting stars, described as a shower of diamond-like light, added to the mystical atmosphere. What's more, numerous miraculous healings took place. People were cured of blindness, polio, paralysis and even terminal illnesses like cancer. And it didn't stop there. These events also led to spiritual conversions, with Muslims and others embracing Christianity as a result. However, there is a big problem that I haven't mentioned yet. The Vatican didn't issue an official statement regarding its authenticity, leaving the decision to the Coptic Orthodox Church. Thankfully, after a thorough investigation, the Coptic Church deemed it a genuine and true occurrence. Even the civil authorities acknowledged that something extraordinary was happening in Zaytown. In fact, they went as far as conducting investigations within a 15-mile radius, checking for electronic devices and even cutting off power to the area to create darkness. Despite these efforts, Mary's appearances persisted. But why did Mary choose this particular spot? And what happened that is about to impact us today? Well, here's where things take a turn. The story traces back to 1920 when a Coptic Christian named Tawfiq Khalil Abraham 
owned the land in Zaytun. He had plans to build a hotel there when the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to him in a dream. She asked him to build a Coptic church instead, promising a miracle in the future if he did so, and the Virgin Mary kept her divine promise. In 1925, the Coptic Orthodox Church of St. Mary was completed. True to her word, the miracle unfolded years later, starting on April 2, 1968. It began when two Muslim garage attendants noticed a figure atop the church and feared she might be contemplating suicide. One of them, Farouk Muhammad Attua, shouted to her, Lady, don't jump! As a crowd gathered, they realized it wasn't just any woman, Blessed Virgin Mary herself. The apparitions continued regularly, with Mary appearing several nights each week for the next three years. Word spread, drawing people from far and wide to witness the miraculous events at St. Mary's in Zaytun. The crowds swelled, reaching up to 250,000 people nightly at the peak, all eager to catch a glimpse of Mary descending from heaven. Despite the duration of the apparitions and the multitude of witnesses, the Blessed Virgin Mary remained silent, offering no verbal messages. But why didn't Mary communicate any messages? Was there something she didn't want us to know yet? Was she trying to communicate a message to us in the future? Well, here's where things get shocking. Mary adopted a posture of prayer, bowing towards the cross and bestowing blessings upon the people. Witnesses observed Mary gliding gracefully around the church's domes, sometimes remaining stationary for hours or kneeling before the rooftop cross. She acknowledged the presence of onlookers with smiles and gestures of blessings. Mary was adorned in flowing white and blue robes, her figure enveloped in a veil of bluish white light. Her garments gently swayed in the warm breeze of the night. A radiant crown adorned her head, accompanied by a halo of brilliant light. At times, witnesses glimpsed her alongside the infant Jesus, or the twelve-year-old Jesus, and occasionally in the company of Saint Joseph. On other occasions, she was depicted carrying symbols such as a cross or an olive branch, representing peace and unity. Bishop Athanasius of Beni Sueif, sent by the Coptic Pope, vividly described the apparition, saying, There she was, hovering five or six meters above the dome, like a luminous statue, yet with subtle movements, not stiff like stone. She exuded serenity and glory. A Coptic priest remarked on the radiant beams emanating from Mary's hands, reminiscent of the miraculous medal. Coptic Bishop Marcos noted Mary's gaze, describing how it seemed she focused directly on each individual on the crowd, making the experience deeply personal for everyone present. Witness Pearl Zaki, an American, shared how, despite the large gathering, each person felt a unique connection with Mary, drawn completely to her. Dr. Kaori Malek, a Coptic Christian witness, even recalled seeing Mary's smile, noticing her teeth. In a remarkable moment, the crowd turned to shout towards the moon and Dr. Malek witnessed Mary's face miraculously appear on its surface. Clearly, the events in Zaytun from 1968 to 1971 were profound and extraordinary. But why did Mary select Zaytun? And why at this specific time in history? Well, this is where things get really amazing, so you might want to pay close attention now. As previously mentioned, Zaytun in Cairo holds significance as one of the places of the Holy Family sought refuge during their escape from King Herod's massacre of infants, as recounted in the Gospel of Matthew. However, despite their efforts, Herod still carried out his horrific plan. The appearance of the Blessed Virgin Mary at Zaytun may have been a tribute to the Holy Family's journey to Egypt to evade this tragedy. Blogger and author Emmett O'Regan has highlighted that the time frame of 1968-71 to coincided with the widespread legalization of abortion. In April 1968, the United Kingdom passed the Abortion Act, marking the beginning of legalized abortion. This trend quickly spread to the United States, culminating in the Roe v. Wade decision in 1973, leading to a global surge in abortions. Zaytun bears similarities to the Blessed Virgin Mary's warning at Fatima in 1917, which preceded the rise of communism. However, unlike Fatima, there were no explicit messages or visions at Zaytun. Mary's presence itself served as a silent message, perhaps warning against the impending evil of abortion and the rise of Islamic fundamentalism in Egypt. However, this apparition was not an isolated incident. The Blessed Virgin Mary was reportedly seen multiple times in Egypt in the years that followed. 
She appeared in 2000 to 2001 and again in 2006, this time in Asiut, which is traditionally recognized as the southernmost point visited by the Holy Family during their journey through Egypt. Additionally, another claimed apparition took place in Warak, Egypt, in 2009, among various other locations. But what unfolded next was truly remarkable. On May 4, 1968, the papal residence in Cairo issued an official statement regarding the apparition of St. Mary at the Zaytoun Virgin Mary Coptic Orthodox Church in Cairo, Egypt. This statement contained additional noteworthy details. Let's take a look at what it had to say. And this is where everything starts to come together and where we finally find out what fundamental effect this event had on us today. Since the evening of Tuesday, April 2nd, 1968, the apparitions of the Holy Virgin Saint Mary, Mother of Light, have continued in the Coptic Orthodox Church, named after her in Zaytun, Cairo. The apparitions occurred on many different nights and are continuing in different forms. The Holy Virgin Saint Mary appeared sometimes in full form and sometimes in a bust surrounded with a halo of shining light. She was seen at times on the openings of the domes on the roof of the church and at other times outside the domes, moving and walking on the roof of the church and over the domes. When she knelt in reverence in front of the cross, the cross shone with bright light. Waving her blessed hands and nodding her holy head, she blessed the people who gathered to observe the miracle. She appeared sometimes in the form of a body like a very bright cloud and sometimes as a figure of light proceeded with heavenly bodies shaped like doves moving at high speeds. The apparitions continued for long periods, up to 2 hours and 15 minutes as in the dawn of Tuesday, April 30th, 1968, when she appeared continuously from 2.45 am till 5 am. Thousands of people from different denominations and religions, Egyptians and foreign visitors, clergy and scientists from different classes and professions all observe the apparitions. The description of each apparition as of the time, location and configuration was identically witnessed by all people, which makes this apparition unique and sublime. Two important aspects accompany these apparitions. The first is an incredible revival of the faith in God, the other world and the saints, leading to repentance and conversion of many who strayed away from the faith. The second are the numerous miracles of healing which were verified by many physicians to be miraculous in nature. The papal residence has thoroughly investigated the apparitions and gathered information by way of committees of clergy who have also witnessed the apparitions by themselves and recorded everything in reports presented to His Holiness Pope Kyrillos VI. By issuing this statement, the papal residence declares with full faith and great joy and humility of a thankful heart that the Holy Virgin Mary, Mother of Light, appeared in clear forms on many different nights for periods of variable length, lasting on occasions more than two continuous hours, starting on the eve of Tuesday, April 2nd, 1968, and up until now, the date of the report in the Coptic Orthodox Church, named after her in Zaytoun, Cairo. It is historically proven that the location of this church in Tuman Bay Street in Zaytoun Quarter on the way to El Mataria, Cairo, is on the path taken by the Holy Family when visiting Egypt. May God make this miracle a symbol of peace for the world and a blessing for our nation as it has been prophesied. Blessed be Egypt, my people. Marian apparitions offer a special connection to Jesus Christ through his mother, Mary. Throughout her time on earth, Mary's mission was all about reflecting the love, joy and peace that come from following her son. And even now in heaven, that mission continues. Many saints have talked about how Mary can lead us to her son, and Marian apparitions are one of the most personal ways she helps us discover the Lord, bridging the gap between heaven and earth.